Yo, Idlewild here with a review of the Power Up Tier 4 Thanksgiving Dion Jones. He's pretty solid in speed and pretty comparable to Ryan Shazier. The main two difference between these two is that Ryan Shazier is the better pure user, meaning that he's faster and has better jump. But Dion Jones is the better all around player because he has a lot better zone coverage. He has 89 zone coverage and he has solid pursuit and stuff like that. So he's better as a CPU linebacker. But that unfakeable can make him a very solid user as well. The main thing you notice about Deion Jones and Ryan Shazier, but this is mainly about Deion Jones, is that he has very good speed in that he can get to the edge, you can send him on blitzes, and he can help contain the run no matter where the run is going. If you want to send him on a blitz, he's very fast and coming through. And if you wanted to, to use him or if he has to stop a run on the outside like a stretch or an inside zone that goes to the outside, as you can see that he's fast enough to get away from blockers and catch the runner back on the edge of the defense. He also, he also has very solid pursuit and you can see that he, he's pretty good at sifting through the trash and finding the ball carrier and getting to him and even if he does get hit by a defensive, I mean offensive lineman, he's also able to share blocks pretty well. I give him an A plus in, in run stopping. He can do big hits, he can get solid pursuit angles, he's fast enough to make it to the edges and, and chase down running backs. Now his zone coverage was another area that he was very solid in. I run a lot of cover too with the Tampa 2 linebacker through the middle and I also run some coverages where the I run a cover 3 where the linebacker is responsible for the middle and he's very good. He, he very hardly gets beat deep especially with the 89 speed and 89 zone isn't quite 91 but it's good enough where he's reacting in time to get interceptions and he also has very good hands. He's capable of doing man coverage, like if you know where the route is coming with, but I wouldn't really suggest it. Pretty much usering him as you're going to see in these next couple of clips and leaving him to do his own thing in zone coverage and stopping the run is where he shines. Overall, he's one of my favorite linebackers of the year. Obviously, Leonard Floyd is still my number one because of the height and jump, but with the unfakeable Kim, how fast he is and how good in zone coverage he is, he is a very solid linebacker. As you can see here, he has a little bit of decent moves after the interception, and his catching is very solid. I, he didn't know I didn't notice him dropping any picks. The only picks I noticed him drop was ones where he got hit, either by his own defensive uh, teammates or he was able to, or he was getting hit by a wide receiver as he was trying to make the catch. But as you can see here, user in, he's able to change directions pretty well. He's able to reach a lot of parts of the field very quickly, and he's also has solid hands if you obviously if you time it right. Overall, I think he's definitely worth it. You can find him for under 100,000 coins in the auction house, just the regular Thanksgiving version. He's definitely worth it if you're looking for a new user. That's it for this video. See you guys around next time. Peace.